Hello everybody, I'm back for the uh, 50 people to 100 that watch the videos of me making this gentleman. Uh, I thank you very much. He is almost at a finished stage. Uh, I'm having some difficulties, but it's my lack of talent. I'm going to just put it that way. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, he is 3D printed. Took seven days to print him. And, uh, and that was for the head. The other, the jaw and a couple other pieces, the jaw was 20 hours. And uh, so it, it was a long process. Then I've tried to paint it and put eyes in it. I want to make movable eyes these are not permanently attached, they're just sitting in the little bracket that, that the uh, engineer who designed this had, which I got off of Cult, C-U-L-T-S, that's the way I pronounce it, but uh, downloaded. Uh, and I'm going to be downloading another one of his versions, the female one, uh, that he finished up because I've always wanted to do a female Ventura because, tell me, can't say it, but I do it. But anyway, I want everybody to see what he has, how he's doing. He can't talk very good. He's kind of weird. <laughs> that was my first try at being a Ventura, because not very good. <laughs> Question I have for everybody out there that makes these or uses them. When I put this in together, my spring on the mouth holds the mouth wide open. Kind of like me. So I start with the mouth closed. Is that normal or should the spring keep the mouth shut and should I open it? Now I've got another dummy, the mini dummy. And by the way, his name is Mr. Robert. So anyway, what do you think about all this, huh? Well, I don't know. Yeah, you look just like I did when I had hair. And that was a long time ago. But anyway, I wanted to show him to you. Now I want to show his brother or little brother to you now. Like I say, this took seven days to print this guy. Almost a whole row of filament. I wanted to see what, oh, I'm gonna kind of rest you up against me here. Don't go falling down like that. There you go. Oh, I gotta show you something else right quick before I forget. Get your arm out of here. Oh. The hands were 3D printed too. And that took about 20 hours. So every a lot of stuff. I've tried to 3D print shoes for him, but I'm not having much luck. Uh, but I won't give up. So and I mixed the colors for the hands and for the face and everything else. Uh, which is, look at the camera. Quit looking off someplace else. Where do you think you're at? Anyway. So, like I said, he's my latest one done. Now I want to show you another one I did of the same figure. Now when I printed this one here, I reduced it by just 20%. And it still took four days to print him. I'm going to let you lay back here so don't fall down. Uh, let's see if I can, here, let's put it over here like this where I'm more naturally. Now, he was kind of my practice dummy, the face tones I practice on him, putting the eyes in and everything, and it has one motion just about. Now, on this one, I fixed it where the spring is keeping the mouth shut. Took me a couple minutes to figure that out, but I did it. And I want, what do you think, huh? What do you think about this and this? Is this the way it should be done? Should it be the spring keeps the mouth shut and then you pull on it to open it? Uh, I'm kind of liking this a little bit better. And I'll show you what I did here. 
I put a pulley system in there right there and that pulley is off a, a pulley needed for a 3D ender printer and then you put a bearing in it from a skateboard and it, the string rides over it. Uh, it's pretty simple to do and I like it. Right now I'm almost 90% sure I'm going to put it in the other one but I need somebody to educate me on that stuff. Should it be spring shut or spring open? And see which one. This in here is still a little tight because I didn't quite sand the opening good. But anyway, I wanted to show everybody what I did. Now, when I first started my YouTube channel, everybody, I went up and was real interested in what makes 3D channels great. What do they do? Well, and I like 3D. I watch 3D all the time. We're big fans of 3D. He is too already. Look normal. Don't look into the camera. Here. Scratch your nose. Okay. Anyway, I like 3D. There is more entertainment on YouTube than there is on the television for an old fart like me. So, I come across another channel that I really do like. And if you're into ventriloquists or making these guys, watch him. He's fun. Nothing really dramatic. It's called Chick Chat with Jerry Mahoney. And his best friend is Jim Ott, O-T-T. -T. And he puts on a real cute little YouTube channel. He's a English professor out in California, won't hold God against him. And he's a lot of fun to watch, and he's really good. His whole family are into this a little bit. They're kind of, they're neat people. I like them a lot. So I really recommend, if you like ventriloquism, watch his show and his channel. And it's Chit Chat with Jerry Mahoney, and the man who is behind the scenes is Mr. Jim Ott. Okay, I got one more channel. And this is totally off from the rest of them. I, like I say, I like YouTube channels. I like to watch them. They're more interesting. I ran across a guy, and it's called In and In and Instant. And it's about Polaroid pictures being developed. I personally did not know <laughs> that they were still being manufactured, but they are. The plant is, I believe, in the Netherlands or Norway someplace over there and they brought it back to life and they're building selling cameras you can find them on eBay uh, I mean uh, Amazon pretty reasonable I guess and I always wanted one when I was in the service but I couldn't afford the 20 something dollars for one back in 1968 being a private only making 50 65 dollars a month uh, but I always wanted one real bad. I had some relatives that had them and used them throughout the years and everything. But they're coming back. They're pretty neat. Uh, the old vintage ones, if you can find one, you can find the film a lot of times on eBay. Be ready to pay through the nose for it. But Polaroid is going to start reproducing some of these older films. So they'll be back on the market again for these older cameras. There's something about the way the picture's taken that they really do enjoy. So if you're into anything, I really recommend watching his channels. They're fun. He's entertaining. And it's in an instant. Take a picture. You got it right off the bat. My personal opinion, I think the cell phone has destroyed photography because very few people ever take their pictures off the phone and print them. I want a printed picture. So I'm thinking about buying me a Polaroid camera and start taking pictures. But anyway, that's what I got to say. We say goodbye. Oh, one last thing. I'm fixing to buy a new 3D printer. In fact, I bought it today. It won't be here for three to five weeks. It's an Creality K1. The print speeds on this is just fantastic. I mean, it prints this 
it's automatic bed leveling if you're in a 3D printing and I looked and looked and I thought and I ordered the latest version off of Amazon and like I say they say it'd be here for three to five weeks I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to see if this little fella can be printed faster than seven days and then the girl the female or the lady I don't know the proper pronoun anyway it's a female head and it's going to be made into a female home oh one other thing any of you people out there know where you buy hair for this I would like to have some hair for my mini but on Amazon all the wigs are made for boys there's nothing for a smaller head like this and uh, I would like to have a hair piece for it and another thing do any of you guys use uh, uh, I should say it hair eyebrows do you, is there, can you buy eyebrows mine are all painted on and I don't know if anybody uses them that way and one more question sorry I'm making this a little longer than I want to around the eyes I've noticed a lot of them are black painted black around it and I see now after putting on video it would make the eyes stand out more if they do it is that paint or is that just uh, eyebrows uh, eyelashes that you can buy and they stick on there or what but anyway I'm gonna cut this off right now it's too long for what I want to what I like to do but I want everybody to know he is finished he's going to have a sister soon uh, a beautiful sister to go with him anyway till next time have fun whatever you're doing in life and be good to everybody bye